Welcome to Behind the Bean, Operator Edition. Welcome to Behind the Bean, where we take individuals with no prior knowledge about careers in the soybean industry and put them in the driver's seat. Join me as I head out to the field to learn what it takes to load and spread lime. I'm out here with Ryan Big Bucket Burroughs, operating the big equipment. Ryan, what type of equipment do we have behind us? So you have... Uh... DN 345 spreader buggy, and then you have an 8360R tractor to pull the buggy, and then a 624K John Deere loader, so we can get full loads fast. Full loads fast. Now, what are loads you full fast. loading into that buggy? Uh, we're putting lime on the field for uh, more stable soil and to help with the pH. So prior to operating this equipment, you really didn't have any, a lot of experience op operating heavy equipment? No, no. Uh, I actually started off uh, out of high school doing some construction, and then uh, I worked for ADM at one time, so I was kind of familiar with some of the farming uh, aspects, but never actually hands-on with farm. Once I started doing it, then I just really liked the idea of doing something new. Uh, a lot of the time, we're just changing up the pace, you know, it's constantly something something new to learn about or uh, something new to do. So between a factory and a field, which one would you rather be in? A field. Yeah. Because you got a little more open air and a little uh, different things every day? I get it. Yeah, I get to be uh, kind of on your own. You kind of feel like you're, you're doing your own thing. You know, you don't have somebody right over the top of you. But out here, it's kind of just up to you. And uh, I think you get a, a little better sense of pride knowing that you did it yourself. And, uh, you know, that's awesome. Then you get to see what, what comes out of it, you know. Well, is there any chance you give me a little tour of your, your cap? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Better be uh, careful of things like Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, um, what you have here, once my settings load, this would be, I guess you would call it your production screen. This shows you what you've got done. So anything blue has been covered. Anything uh, not blue has not been covered, but they run off prescription rates. So if you see something that's not covered, it didn't call for the line. So that's why some stuff is not covered. This would just be like your, um, tell you how everything's running on your tractor as far as hydraulics and uh, you know your oil temperature, stuff like that. And uh, we have a camera on the corner of our bed of our buggy so we can make sure that we can see better whenever we run out of product. So we don't just drive through the field and not be spreading anything. And then uh, all this over here is just for your uh, miles per hour and your fuel and everything like that, just like a normal car. Well, Ryan, I'm gonna let you get back to spreading, but I've got a uh, guest coming out here that I'd like to get an opportunity to operate this equipment who has zero experience prior. So I'm gonna hop out and let you get back to it. Sounds good, man, can't wait. Thank you. Ryan, you're saying loading and spreading lime is something that you could easily show anybody with zero experience to do. If I brought somebody off the streets with no knowledge prior, you think you can get them up to speed? For sure. All right, Carly, you found out an hour ago, you are gonna to get to learn how to operate a loader and spread some lime. Are you nervous? No. Not at all? No. Don't be. I it's, bet he's great. It's not as, it's not as intimidating <laughs> as it looks. Just big equipment, easy, easy to do. Great. What do you think your blood pressure is at right now? Does it reflect high. very high? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's All right. Funny. Well, Ryan, let's get her in there, show her how to load it, and then get her behind the auto steer and let it take its take its way down the road. All right. Sounds good. All right. Ready? This John Deere 624K front end loader is a $150,000 piece of equipment. It has a lifting capacity of 28,000 pounds, which is the equivalent of five and a half pickup trucks. The technology built in this loader makes scooping and loading product just like a video game. 
The joystick in her right hand raises, lowers, and dumps that line directly into the buggy. The key to becoming a cool-handed operator all comes in your throttle control. Just don't bang it into the buggy. Now on to the John Deere 8360R tractor. This modern marvel has all the creature comforts you could ask for. Heated leather seats, touchscreen monitors, and even Bluetooth connectivity. The variable rate technology controls the volume of line that's spread right down to the acre. Once the maps are loaded into the screen and the auto steer is set up, it's a push of a button and the tractor drives itself to the end of the field. All the operator has to do now is monitor the screens and enjoy the ride. Is it true, prior to me calling you, you had no experience operating any type of machinery of that size? Absolutely correct. So now that you've had the opportunity, what's your thoughts? Incredible. It was a really fun experience, and I'm glad I got to have it. Now, when we first talked to you, you said, I'm not that nervous. <laughs> However, you did look fluid at going into that, that lime pile, mm -hmm. picking up a big old jag, and then you went around to the other side, and I noticed you're a little bit timid going into the dump. Yes. What was going through your mind? I was very nervous. I was very nervous, and I was really hoping that you guys had some really good insurance. Well, luckily <laughs> we do, but also nothing broke. You did a great job. Yeah, it was great. So the next step was hopping into the tractor. You got in there, mm -hmm. you know, barely climate controlled, leather mm -hmm. seats, auto steer. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. What'd you think? It was really interesting. Um, I liked the fact that it did most of the work for me um, and that it told me exactly what I needed to do and where I needed to do it. So if you ran into an 18 to 23 year old mm -hmm. from a small town in rural America mm -hmm. and they told you, I'm thinking about operating equipment. Is this something that you would suggest to them and then what would you tell them? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I would say just don't be afraid and try it. Um, I was a little skeptical going into it today, but here I am and I'm alive and we made it here. So you did a great job. Thank you. We'd like to see you in the soybean <laughs> industry. Okay. That's it. <laughs> One more operator in the seat. If you're interested in learning more about this career or know someone who should star in our next Behind the Bean video, get a hold of us at birddogcareers.com.